The World Series returns to New York for the sixth game. Victory is a must for the Yankees today in their defense of the World Championship. In an effort to deadlock the series at three all, manager Stengel calls on his fireballer, Bob Turley. Manager Haney of the Braves counters with another fastballer, Bob Buell. George Troutman, president of the National Association, which includes all minor leagues, finds the cast of the series drama very familiar. All the managers, coaches, and players, with the exception of one Milwaukee bonus baby, graduated from the minor leagues. Owner Arnold Johnson of the Kansas City Athletics, looking at the talent on the field, is an interested spectator. And here are a trio of Braves who were the key men in yesterday's one to nothing triumph. Del Crandall, Lou Burdett, and Joe Adcock, who drove in the lone run. Here come the Yankees, charging out of their dugout, and the sixth game is underway. With two out in the Yankee third, Buell loses control and walks Slaughter. Then he makes his first pitch to Barra, too good, and Yogi slams the ball into the right field stand for his 10th World Series home run, scoring Slaughter ahead of him and giving the Yankees a 2 to nothing lead. McDougal keeps the rally going when he beats out a hit to Mantilla. Yule appears upset. He walks Lumpy. Manager Haney strolls to the mound and calls for Ernie Johnson, his ace relief hurler. Johnson walks leisurely in from the left field bullpen, while the dejected Buell heads for the dugout. Johnson checks the rally in a hurry as Harry Simpson strikes out. With one out in the Milwaukee fourth, Matthews hammers a double to right center, and the Braves have a man in scoring position for the first time. Hurley retires Aaron on a ground to Coleman, and Matthews moves to third. Then Covington fouls out to Jerry Lumpy, and the Yankees are out of trouble. In the Milwaukee fifth, Frank Torrey, the leadoff batter, works the count to three and two, and then smashes a home run into the right field stand. It quickly cuts the Yankee lead in half at two to one. From that point, Curley retires the next six Braves without a ball being hit out of the infield. Then Hank Aaron comes to the plate to open the seventh. Curley falls behind on a 3-1 count. He fires a fastball, and Aaron rockets a terrific drive, 430 feet into the bullpen in left center. It travels so fast that Slaughter has time to take only a few steps backward before the ball streaks over his head. With that blast, third homer of the series for Aaron, the Braves tie the score at 2-2. Two and two. With one away in the Yankee seventh, Hank Bauer comes to bat, hoping for the hit that would tie a World Series record of batting safely in 13 consecutive games. And he gets it on a drive that caroms off the screen that lines the inside of the left field foul pole. It's a home run that sends the Yankees ahead three to two. In the Yankee eighth, Don McMahon is on the mound for the Braves. Barra greets the Milwaukee relief man with a double, a foot inside third base. McDougal catches a sign from Coach Grissetti at third and promptly sacrifices on the first pitch as the Yankees endeavor to push across the Hearns run. Lumpy then lifts a fly to Covington in left field. And here comes Barrett trying to score. Covington's throw is high and a little wide, 
but Del Rice makes a beautiful play, diving to tag out Barra. That leaves Turley with a bare one run lead to protect as he faces Matthews in the ninth. He walks him on four straight balls and the tying run is on base. The menacing Aaron is next. Turley suddenly reverses himself and fans hammering Hank on three pitches. The Milwaukee star taking the third strike. West Covington is up. Turley gets two quick ball strikes on him. And then Covington bounces the ball directly back to Turley. And Gill relays to first for a double play. The Yankees win three to two. And the series is tied at three games each. For the third straight year, the World Series goes to a full seven games for a decision. This was a typical Yankee victory on emerging of power and superb four-hit pitching by Turley. Yogi Berra has now played more World Series games than anyone in history. Today's game was his 53rd. 